before after hello guys welcome to your new video in this video we are going to work with a free plugin by slate digital uh, which its name is fresh air it adds a very 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 sweet uh, high end to your voices and it can like change your voice from very muddy very muffly to something transparent and exciting i we are going to try them on vocals on some synth chords and then on some trap drum kits uh, drum uh, trap drums in general okay so we have the vocals first we are going to hear them without the without any effects just you know i've compressed the vocals a little bit i've added some uh, reverb some delay but nothing too crazy and then we are going to add fresh air by the way these vocals are by the artist c money he is one of my friends his music is amazing i really recommend you check him out i'm going to put his links in the description make sure to uh, check him out give him a listen so vocals without any effect chasing dreams is a lonely road Chase your dreams is a lonely road Chase your dreams is a lonely road Chase your dreams is a lonely road So I have added the plugin to our vocal This is how it looks in general I'm going to exaggerate it and then go back down so you can hear the difference more clearly Chase your dreams is a lonely road Chase your dreams is a lonely road As you can see it adds a lot of high end treble frequencies to our voice it makes it more clear more transparent but i wouldn't recommend you go above 30 35 percent on high mid oh sorry mid air because in my opinion that would be just too much but uh, i would usually put, set it around anywhere between 15 to 25 percent and it usually sounds really good on any device so before Chase your dreams is a lonely road After Chase your dreams is a lonely road And now for the high air Chase your dreams is a lonely road Chase your dreams is a lonely road Okay, as you can see, high air is kind of sensitive it can make your voice sound a bit harsh if you go too crazy with it so i personally would always keep it five or ten percent under mid air so if uh, mid air is let's say 25 percent at most uh, higher should be 15 percent 20 percent you know what i'm saying before chase your dreams is a lonely road after Chase your dreams is a lonely road Chase your dreams is a lonely Yeah, so that's how the plugin sounds on vocals uh, But by the way, I want to give you a very 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 important disclaimer about using this plugin and that is be careful which sound you use this plugin on because if your voice per se is a flute and it already has quite a bit of high end to it and it has quite a bit of air to it this plugin might in some cases not always but some cases uh, add some resonant frequencies that are not very pleasing to hear so I would say be careful with it and always check uh, your uh, frequencies with an EQ after using this plugin to make sure that there are no resonant uh, harsh frequencies in the in your voice after using this plugin 
And you know what? If you want to engineer the fuck out of your voice or your sound or your audio or your song, I would suggest using a dynamic EQ after using this plugin. That way it can automatically find harsh resonant frequencies and like reduce them. Okay, on to the next sound. We have some synth chord here, chords here. The chords are not a big deal. It doesn't matter if they sound like chord wise they sound good or not we just gonna test the uh, plugin so without any plugins they sound like this so i've opened the plugin on these chords Oh my god this plugin on these chords the on the synthesizers sound nuts just take a listen yeah it does very well on these chords uh, it's literally like adding another layer of another synthesizer which is more treble and it sounds really good I really like it so I, I would suggest if you have some chords some pianos some synthesizers that uh, sound a bit thin and you you would want them to occupy more frequencies you can use this plugin for sure on the drums I would suggest you use them mostly on trap drums because if you let's say you make old school beats it sounds out of place for your drums because old school beats it depends on your beat but old school beats tend to have more of a muffled drum sounds hard hitting but muffled sound you know what I'm saying like they are not very crispy Tra trap drums have to be crispy and they have to be a snappy and very um, not necessarily sharp but in your face definitely more louder more crazier so i have these drums here uh, they are from a beat that i made a couple of days ago and they sound like this When we add the plugin, I'm going to just mess with it. As you can see the drums got way more crispier and way more in your face which I like for my trap drums please make sure to subscribe we are trying to get to 200 subscribers make sure to use this plugin I'm going to put a link in the description for this plugin I hope you enjoyed this video and like this video thank you very much have a good day